Yeah, that's about baseball is life. Uh, it, it's life, it's the seasons, it's spring, it's summer, it's winter. And in the spring, you, you look forward to the game. And in the summer, you follow it. In the fall, you're getting ready for the World Series. Then the World Series comes at the end. Then at wintertime, you have it no more. So you just read and you look and you wait for that nice sunny day to come in the spring when the baseball is thrown again and the grass is cut and everything is nice and clean in the outside. That's what baseball is. It's part of life. It's been part of my life. On a summer night in 1963, a friend of mine called my house and says, hey Dave, you wanna to go to the baseball game tomorrow? And I says, yeah. So he says, hey, be at my house at nine o'clock in the morning. So I got there at nine. We left his house and we walked over to a place in San Francisco on 27th and Duncan. We knocked on a guy's door the guy answered the door in his skivvy shorts and says, hey, I'll be right out, fellas. So about 25 minutes later, here comes this guy. Well, as we found out after I looked at him, I found out he was a Jose Pagan. He played for the San Francisco Giants. He was a shortstop, the starting shortstop. So he says, hey, guys, get in the car. He had his two kids and his wife. And we headed out on Highway 101 out to Candlestick Park. In those days, you used to park underneath the scoreboard way out in right field. So he kissed, his, he kissed his kids and said goodbye to his wife. And we got out of the car and <clears throat> we went to this entrance to get into the park. And uh, we got there and there was this huge guard there. And he was just about ready to grab us and say we can't go in there. And Jose says, there with me. I turned to my friend and I says, oh, that's fantastic, isn't it? We're going to go into the clubhouse. And he says, you're right, Dave. This is going to be an experience. So we got in, into the clubhouse. First person I see is a guy called Jimmy Davenport, the man with the golden glove. I mean, a legend. Then I look over to the other side and here's Willie McCovey. And he always had bad knees. And the trainer there was rubbing his knees down, even as a young guy. Okay, then in the middle, right in the middle of this clubhouse, with all these lockers, there must have been about 20 ball players all sitting there passing around baseball, signing each one. So Jose says, okay, well, come on, let's go over to my locker. I got to get dressed. So I saw his locker and everything was in order. And and then he had gloves and he had everything in his locker, a beautiful uniform. He says, yeah, you want to have something to drink? Right behind there is a Coke. So on the way to the Coke machine, I run into probably the greatest baseball player that ever played in San Francisco, Willie Mays. And I said to him, very pleased to meet you, Mr. Mays. So I went back to Jose's locker and he says to me, hey, you guys want to go out on the field? And we said, yeah, sure, we'll go out in the field with you. So we went through this long tunnel and all the way out there, we see a guy, uh, a guy named Gaylord, Gaylord Perry, and he was the starting pitcher for that day. And I says, Gaylord, you're starting today, Mr. Perry. And he says, yeah, I'm starting. Well, good luck. I hope you win. So we got out to the field. We played a little catch with Jose for about 10 minutes. And then we played a game called Pepper, which baseball players play uh, before games to warm up. So we got done with all that, and, uh, and, and the field was beautiful. It was just beautiful. It was all cut nice, and the grass was nice and clean, and it was a beautiful day with the sun. And Jose said, hey, I, hey guys, I have to go now, and, and I, I've got to go and get ready for the game. It's about 1130 in the morning. So he gave us the tickets. He paid the tax, and we went up to the reserve seat and sat there through the whole game. And, the game was a great game. I mean, it was a it was a tie until the till the sixth inning, and uh, Jose came up himself and hit a three run homer. Okay, it was uh, fantastic. So uh, after the game, the Giants had won four to three, and uh, he said that we should go back and meet him. So we did go back and meet him, 
and he drove us back home with his ki his wife only his kids I think were at school and he dropped us off uh, up on 21st and uh, Noe Street and then we got out of the car and we walked about 10 steps and he said oh guys I got something for you well one of those balls that were on that table was ours so he gave us each an autographed ball of the 1963 Giants uh, it probably was one of the most thrilling things that ever happened in my lifetime as a young child. I look back and I tell this story to my kids and other people and they kind of like to hear it. I, I, it means that, you know, humanity is, is still here in, in those days anyway. I guess it's still around today. Anyway, that's my story and uh, I hope you all enjoyed it and uh, if you ever have any questions, I can answer them for you. Thank you very much for your time.